What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Recently I was messing around with Android x86, the new release. It's Oreo, they've added a lot of improvements, a lot of fixes, and they even have experimental Vulkan support. I was planning on making a tutorial on how to turn an old PC, like an old Optiplex or whatever you're going to use, into an Android machine when I kind of got sidetracked. I got this crazy idea in my head to run this on my gaming machine. Now first up I tried with an RTX 2080 Ti, there was no acceleration. Then I tried with some 10 series GeForce cards, couldn't get it working properly, there was acceleration, but I kept getting a lot of crashes in the operating system itself. So I had to resort to using one of my older cards, this is an AMD 270X 2GB model. Now acceleration does work, but I'm getting a lot of app crashes now with this card here. Originally I was testing this with some built-in Intel HD graphics and all the games that I tested worked fine, the operating system was very smooth, and I do plan on making a tutorial on using Android on your PC or turning an old PC into an Android machine. But for now I wanted to see how high my gaming machine would benchmark inside of Android. So what I have here is an i5-9600K clocked at 5.1 GHz, that's a 6 core CPU, 16 GB of DDR4 3000 MHz RAM, and this AMD 270X 2 GB graphics card. Now I'm sure I could have got better benchmarks if I could have got my GTX 1060 or even the RTX 2080 Ti running, but unfortunately this release of Android just won't work with the RTX cards. So here it is, Android x86 Oreo. I will leave a link in the description to the website in case you want to install this, but I do have a tutorial coming up. First thing I'm going to do is open up Ida64. We do have full access to Google Play with this release. So as you can see, I'm using that Gigabyte Z390 motherboard, 16 gigabytes of RAM. For the CPU, I have the i5-9600K. It is overclocked on all six cores to 5.1 gigahertz. And for the display, it's showing up as an HD 8800, but this is the 270X. And the Android version is 8.1.0 Oreo. So the first thing I ran was a quick Geekbench. Always run a Geekbench on all of my Android devices. I ran the compute and the CPU. For the single core, we scored a 6,755. For multi-core, 27,692. Unfortunately, in the app itself, when we try to compare to other devices, the newest one listed here is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, single core, 1960. My device scored a 6,755. Multi-core, 6,472 for the Note 8, 27,962 for this PC. The next benchmark I ran was 3 d Mark Ice Storm Extreme, and I scored an 11,604. I really wish the 10 series were working here because that 1060 would have scored a bit higher. But if we go to the results here or compare Slingshot Extreme, the OnePlus 6T is at the top of the list with 4,703. Going into this, I knew that the PC was going to score higher than these phones, but to see these ARM chips scoring this high or this close to what I have here is pretty amazing. And the final benchmark I ran was Antutu. So close to a million points here, 921,591. And Tutu has changed a lot in the last year. If I run the same benchmark on the same hardware, I actually score higher now. I'm not sure what they changed in it. But if we take a look at the other Android benchmarks, I think I can compare here. Yeah, results. The Mate 20 is the highest real Android device on this list with close to 304,000. I do kind of want to get this out of the way. This is not something that I'm going to be running on this PC all the time. This was just for fun. I wanted to see how high I could benchmark. I was hoping I could hit a million points here. I did test it several times, but unfortunately it's just not powerful enough. And I think it really comes down to, you know, optimizations in Android x86 and the GPU I'm using. And before I get out of here, I did want to show off the Dolphin emulator running in Android x86 on this system. Now, if we were running Linux or Android right now, this will do Dolphin at 4K no trouble at all. I did test out some Android apps on this setup, and unfortunately I got some crashing in Asphalt 9 uh, with this GPU, but when I was using the built-in Intel HD graphics, it played fine. I tried PUBG, San Andreas, Guns of Boom, Minecraft. So a lot of the apps will work, but it really comes down to the hardware you're using. I also had really good luck with an older Dell Optiplex. It was a 360 with a Core 2 Duo, and that's what I'm going to be doing my tutorial on. I'm going to show you guys how to install Android on a system like that. Personally, I would just install like a Linux desktop on there, but there are a lot of people out there that would enjoy using Android on a PC. 
So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I will be doing a full Android x86 tutorial coming up very shortly, so keep an eye on the channel. I installed it on this PC here pretty much for fun. I just wanted to see what it would benchmark at, and I think it did a pretty good job. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with stuff like this. And like always, thanks for watching.